It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. It's now September 2023, and as we move into the fall, you may be considering a new computer. The inventory is high, the economy is so-so, and the manufacturers haven't been able to sell their stock. So as we move into school season, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Christmas, uh, you know, all these things that happen between December, September and December, there are going to be lots of sales and lots of good things for you to purchase. So I wanted to give you some help on deciding what to purchase. So I'm going to do three videos. I'm going to do a how to purchase a PC, how to purchase a Chromebook, and how to purchase an Apple product. These will be three separate videos that I'm going to have coming out over the next three months. I'll probably do about one a month, but limited to 10 minutes, so I might do some part one, part two, part three, but that's to give you help in deciding what to purchase as these events occur. How to purchase a PC, this is part one. The first consideration should be, where are you going to purchase your PC? Well, of course, uh, you may have a Costco or a Sam's Club next to you, and these are great places to purchase devices. They have good uh, return policies and usually have good equipment. You may also look at Walmart. Walmart is very close to you in most locations in the United States and Canada. Uh, I suspect if you're looking for advice, the uh, amount that you're going to get is going to be pretty limited and probably depending on who's working at the store. Uh, the real advantage in Walmart is their online uh, sales. Uh, they have a massive inventory of online computer PCs that uh, really comprise everything from A to Z, you know. And I would, um, and, and it's fine. I think these are all okay machines, but I want you to try to remember to purchase them from Walmart. One of the problems because the Walmart website is so vast, you'll often find third-party sellers selling their refurbished machines or other types of machines on there. Please, if you are going to buy it online from Walmart, make sure you buy it directly from Walmart. Now, one of my favorite stores to purchase computers is Best Buy. Best Buy has been around since 2008. Yes, a very long time. Some of us have had good experience, some bad. Now, in 2019, Corey Berry took the reins as CEO and really restructured the company. The company no longer has commissioned salespeople. The people now that work at Best Buy are paid a livable wage. They have a very high retention and job satisfaction. They are there to help you purchase your computer. Most of them, I find, are very knowledgeable and helpful. Best Buy has an outstanding return policy that often gets uh, uh, the time limit gets doubled or tripled around Christmas, so they have a no no problem return policy. The only thing that you have to watch is they have a very large website, same as Walmart as well. Be careful if you are purchasing from Best Buy that you purchase it from Best Buy on their website. There are a lot of third party resellers. And you have to be careful with this, particularly if they're refurbished machines or you want to return. So just be careful of that. But if you want some advice, you're not quite sure what you want. They're an excellent place to go because the people usually that work there are knowledgeable about computers. If you, if you want to shop online, Amazon probably sells more computers than anyone online in the United States. So it's fine to buy um, a computer on Amazon if you know what you're wanting. Uh, always remember those warehouse deals that I talked about and showed you how to do before. Please be careful, though, when you're purchasing a computer that it's sold by Amazon. That's so important because in, in return situations, it makes things a lot easier. As, as with the other companies, there are a lot of third-party resellers on Amazon. And also, uh, when considering online, don't forget about Dell Computers. Dell, of course, is a U.S. company. Your computer will be designed in the United States, built in the United States, shipped in the United States, and supported by people working in the United States. 
So it is a good company. I have always bought Dell PCs. I have one now and I, uh, I really like them as a company and they make good products. So give them a, so give that a consideration. Now, the next thing I want you to consider is a budget. How much are you going to spend for your new purchase? Well, I'd like you to consider if you're purchasing a PC, it's likely going to have Windows 11 or in the future Windows 12. I want you to budget between $600 and $1,000 for your PC. I want you to consider this as a five-year plan. So if you look at that per month, that's going to cost you about $15 a month. I'll explain why you have to look at it as a five-year plan in a moment, but you really need to have a budget and stick to that budget when you're purchasing your computer. Uh, Chromebooks, of course, will be a little bit less, and of course, Apple products more. But for a PC with a Windows on it, I think you're looking at a solid investment between $600 and $1,000. So when purchasing a PC, you need to decide what type of PC you're going to buy. Are you going to buy a box? Remember, like the historical ones that we have, and like the one that I have here? Or are you going to buy a PC? Are you going to buy a NUC? Now, this is a picture of a NUC. Uh, you know that Huey and Ray from our Monday show have NUCs. These are uh, small computers that sit in the palm of your hand. You connect to them any of your peripheral devices. They can be, uh, they can have any sort of processor in there, as big a hard drive as you want, and all are customizable. We've talked about those before, but it certainly is an option. Now, an important consideration in purchasing a laptop. Over the years, I've done a lot of tech work and gone out to see people in their homes. And when I look at their laptops, they have never moved in the three years that they've owned them. If you do not consider moving your computer, then why do you need a laptop? There are some distinct disadvantages for seniors with a laptop. The first being is you have a battery with a five-year life cycle. The second is you have a small monitor. Now, let's be honest, as seniors, we don't see as well. You know, if you haven't had your cataracts done yet, you haven't had eye problems or you don't wear glasses, well, good luck. But let me tell you, it's going to happen and bigger is better with a screen. I have 40, I have three 43 inch screens in front of me. And when these go, I'll be getting a bigger screen. As a senior, the bigger, the better. The second problem with the laptop is, is the battery. You have to consider a, the battery life in a laptop because laptops now do not have removable batteries. So I think it's safe to say you're, you're going to be fine for the first three years, but the maximum you're going to look at, look at with a laptop is five years. Now, you also have to remember that these batteries in laptops now are very thin. The problem with laptops is heat and the designers and engineers have made the battery as part of the heat sink. So it is actually glued to the chassis and they use a special glue that transmits heat and that's all part of the dissipation of the heat in your laptop. That is why they are not removable. So anything that you purchase must be fixed to a five year budget. The other thing uh, that you may have thought about in the past when we did have removable batteries and we could replace the batteries and laptops, I always used to tell people, take the battery out and it'll run just on the power cable. And if you need the battery, you can use it. And there you're saving a lot of a wear and tear on your battery. Today's computers don't work like that. All the power goes through the battery and you can't bypass it. So what you're going to find is as your battery starts to fail, your computer will start to do odd things. You can't switch it just to run on power setting. So it is going to be problematic for you and you really need to budget and think about this as a five-year project. But if you don't need a laptop, then I certainly would consider a NUC or a PC because with a regular box PC, you can put a big monitor on, you can put your own keyboard you want, Yes, you can do that with a laptop, but you're already paying for that. Why pay for your battery and pro why pay for a small screen that you're not going to use? You're just going to plug an external monitor in. Also, beware of those 4K screens on laptops. Why pay money for a 4K 
screen on a 13 inch laptop. That is ridiculous. So don't pay any extra money for that. You'll find that an HD screen should be adequate for what you want to use it for. But always remember, bigger is better. Mm -hmm.